previously to get a bit of height in the previous builds before they changed and added this um, is what would happen is you'd have to charge quite a lot to get a good bit of height um, you'd have to literally charge fully hit the floor and dodge that's time consuming um, and wasn't really consistent there was bugs with armor as well where you couldn't impact jump with armor uh, so i assume these changes have been fixed so let's try uh, i'm gonna try a pop jump just to the uh to the shield belt like qt99 style see if i can uh, do it first time and see if you can get the the valid height on deck test that's perfect that is absolutely perfect i'm very happy with that previously you couldn't do that so previously i I'd feel the issue I'd have when I'd when I'd be mid game and I'd be playing um, and I'd be playing deck is you'd, you'd come down and you'd see the boots were gone and you're like oh shit and you'd know that you'd know that you'd know the belt time. The only way that you could get that belt at that point in time is you could you know you could whiz all the way around the map or you'd have to do a full hammer charge. You'd have to then look, dodge, and jump. It would be a complete pain in the ass. It'd be dangerous for one. And for anyone who's a past Unreal Tournament player, that's not really great. You don't want to spend that time holding holding that charge and hitting it. You want to quickly hit the floor, pop up. As it's just a great, it's just a great plus to UT. It's a nice, cool thing. Uh, you'll notice as well when I did the initial one, it takes 30 damage. It's exactly 30 damage. So you get like a nice pop impact jump. Uh, so if you need to with the shield, pop up straight to that, straight to the shield. I think that's brilliant. That really works well. Before today, there was a bug where um, if you had armor, then you couldn't... The physics of the impact jump was not working correctly. It would just simply not work. Um, that seems now fixed. I had armor just then. Um, I managed to pop out perfectly. Absolutely great. Chumbo, can you test if you can now get out of the acid on deck? Okay, yeah, sure. No. I'm hitting space and I can't jump. I might be able to pop jump out of that. Um, it's going to take 30 damage and it's going to take the initial slime damage. So 50. Okay, so the minimum you're going to take from pop jumping out of the out of the slime is 80 damage. It's 50 to hit the slime and 30 for the hammer jump. So if you hit the slime with less than 80 health, you're dead, dude. That's quite high. That's quite high. Okay. That's concerning. That's high. I think that's really high. But yeah, this is... <laughs> this is... Yeah. But anyway, that's to be determined. That's a map thing. That's probably going to be... Uh, well, it's really for our later stages, you know? Alright, so I'm really happy with the impact hammer. It's, um, it's awesome. What I do want to check and what I will be checking when I start playtesting again is to make sure that these impact jumps work well with the maps. Any of the maps that get released, um, the impact hammer, this height, this perfect height that deck obviously has here, it fits the scale of the rest of the maps. It has to fit the scale of the maps. Otherwise, the cool pop that you have doesn't work. Um, other things you could probably try is um, dodging off the lifts. And then popping up to other areas. Which, this was an old UT99 trick actually. You could literally, if you timed the jump properly, you'd be able to get up there as well. Just with a quick pop. It's, I think that's possible. I'm just not very good at it. There we go. Yeah, that's, that's cool. That works well. So that kind of stuff, that's for the... Uh, so the trick jumpers are there, you know. But that's cool. That that that's it. that shit kind of works right now. As long as the maps are scaled that way, we're great. We're good. All right. What else have we got? Hmm. That looks to be about the majority of the main changes. It's unfortunate I can't test um, online right now because I really want to test the. Uh, Really want to be able to test the uh, the changes to the projectiles. Changes to projectiles really look cool. Let me whiz the uh, field of view back up a little. I've just changed my sense. No. 
whatever. I'll fix it later. Alright guys, so today, um, it's difficult for me to show you, see. Um, there's not much I can really do right now, apart from show you the latest changes, show you what's been going on. Um, And go from there. Does anybody have any questions or anything they'd like to ask? Before I um, wrap this up and pop it on a VOD. I double tap. There's, I tell you right now dude, any of, any of the UT players are not going to be using the new dodge key. Anybody who has it fixed in their muscle memory to double tap, they ain't going to change. Honestly, it's just not gonna happen. Ain't gonna happen, unfortunately. Not for me, at least. Some of the uh, new players, it's a, it's a great thing to have because new players might not like the double tap. They might see a way of to just press one button and press it again, be able to move, you know. Um, but right now, nah. For an old school UT player, it's always gonna be the double taps. Dodge forward. Okay, so a way in which you can dodge forward, um, and any player who's a veteran on real tournament will always tell you that the best way to dodge forward is to hold a strafe, a strafe left or strafe right first. So what you'll do is, if you watch my hands, you might not be able to see very well. No, you can't, unfortunately. So basically, when you do dodge forward, um, you'll want to hold the strafe key. That makes sure that you don't lose any speed or momentum as you move, you know? For example, if I'm to dodge forward and I am I'm towards the left-hand side of a corridor, I will be holding right and I'll dodge forward that way. That will stop me moving any momentum. So what I'll end up doing is I'll end up holding W and D at the same time and then within that I'll just quickly double tap W keep holding D double tap W I'll put my mouse to an angle like that and you just always dodge forward towards an angle when you start playing a little bit more there used to be a UT99 where you could do you could move the mouse towards angles so what you would do is you would dodge one way dodge the other way dodge dodge one way dodge the other way, dodge one way, dodge the other way. And what that would do is the way in which you'd use the mouse and you'd move the mouse left and right, it would give you slightly more um, speed and you'd move slightly further. And then you'd, what you'd find is a lot of UT players, they would either in incorporate a little flick towards their movements. So they then up moving like this, or you'll end up just getting complete and all muscle memory play and everybody will, they just know how to play the game. Not sure if it's the same here, but yeah. Any other questions, guys? Gotta, um, can you do that from above the sniper rifle? And jumps the quad damage. Quad damage. Um, you should do some tutorials like that to YouTube. Yeah, I can do that. Basically, um, a lot of covered things were um, an old school OCR player, um, Flock, actually wrote years and years and years ago the UT Bible. Um, I think it's still online somewhere. I think it's still. Uh, and a lot of the UT uh, UT Bible is still valid. It really is valid. It was written in. It must have been written in 2000, probably. Flock probably wrote that in 2000. And even to beginners nowadays, you could you can still incorporate stuff that Flock popped in his uh, in the UT Bible there into games now. That's for sure. A single dodge forward brings you over there. That's why I want you to demonstrate it with the double tap. I'm confused. What's up, Johnny? How are you, bro? Just... 
Awesome, you found the UT Bible. There you go. I knew it would be online. Yeah, guys, check the UT Bible. If you are new to UT, um, that's a really, 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 really old guide that was written in UT 99 by an old school German player. Um, I think Flock was German. I see all were German anyway. Um, and it covered the basics of UT, which is still valid today. Still completely valid today. Even to like, even to, even to the best players, that it's completely all valid stuff. Flock goes into things like uh, damage of sniper rifle hits, headshots, um, the importance of the shield belt. Before they changed the physics of the um, pulse gun and minigun, um, he would explain the way that the pulse gun could do extra damage depending on how you would face your opponent. You used to be able to do a movement whereby if you were closer to your opponent and then did like a, a sore effect it would do more damage because of the way that the pulse the pulse was coded at the time. That was actually fixed in later builds. Um, if you look at some of the old games by Gitz, uh, Lauka, um, Askold for WCG around 2001, 2002 times, uh, you'll notice lots of mini hits gameplay. Um, pulse play and sniper play and the reason is is because the um, pulse gun was really OP against shield belts and uh, the minigun was really OP against armor um, so hit scan was a major major thing back then uh, that was fixed in mutator in later years to my to my dismay once I started picking UT up later the pulse wiggle exactly the pulse wiggle alrighty One on one, Shumbo, your host. Um, right now, the purpose of this stream is to solely just grab and discuss the changes. Um, I've been streaming for about 40 minutes right now. Um, what I wanted to do with the stream is just basically get some info together and pop it straight on the forums. Um, that way, people can check the later changes. Um, and I'm actually bringing something back rather than just jumping on fucking games, free for all games, and just beasting everyone. That's not what I want to do with this. What I want to do with this is discuss the changes that are being brought out um, if you guys are enjoying this um, then let me know and what I'll be doing is when a major commits like this happen uh, TWD keeps updating the unofficial release thread and um, I'll grab that weekly and I'll do discussions like this weekly if it needs to be done obviously I'll still be covering the game and all uh, still just covering how everything is um, and yeah but I'll cover actual gameplay changes Awesome. Pulse is still strong, but your aim needs to be godly. Yeah, I still find myself, um, I still find myself when I play UT99 constantly using the pulse, like old, like old school time play. You know. XTBS, that would be fantastic. I've been thinking of getting um, somebody on Teamspeak. Um, just basically jumping in a server, discussing changes, um, going through a map together, you know, seeing if we can do some like jumps, finding out some cool shit. Um, yeah, that kind of stuff. So if you'd be interested, I'd be happy to, to do that with you, bro. Am I still like, hanging around on IRC? Yeah, Leon. Um, at the moment, I'm chilling in um, IRC globalgamers.net, um, channel beyond Unreal. It's kind of a clusterfuck right now, though. <laughs> so I'm probably just gonna, I'm probably just gonna create maybe a little, um, little side channel to be on Unreal, you know. So we can get like a smaller community out the way, not like, not like out the way of Beyond Unreal. Just whilst there's fucking 300 people in Beyond Unreal, just like a bit different where people can chat in there as opposed to trying to have a discussion where people are coming and going, what's the fucking password to the raw? What's the fucking? Why aren't the servers up? Roxy go to sleep, fucking all crazy shit like that, you know? What we want, just somewhere, using Global Gamers, but just somewhere a little bit quieter that we can actually talk about the game on IRC. We can arrange, you know, stream times, some discussions like that, um, and we can actually discuss together forum posts. Because right now this is, it's a bit clusterfuck, you know? Can I show DM Deckly? Yes, I can. I'll just jump on that for you. Um, I just want to give a couple more minutes on uh, on Spacer because this is a really interesting map. I really feel it's got the uh, focus of a two v two. Really do. 